Hello, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm a redneck archaeologist. Today I'm in Nacogdoches, Texas, the oldest town in Texas. Habitation has been here for over 10,000 years in this one area. Yeah, it dates back to 10,000 years as the Nacogdoches tribe of the Caddo's, the Indians who uh, lived here as the primary village for those people. This remained a Caddo Indian settlement until the early 19th century and in 1716 uh, when Spain established a mission here uh, Nuestra Señora de la Guadalupe de las Doches uh, that was the first European construction in this area that was in 1716 uh, the town of Nacogdoches got started after the Spaniards decided that the French were no longer a threat and that maintaining the mission was too costly now, this also has a lot of French uh, uh, influence here as well. Uh, La Salle is supposedly, the French explorer La Salle supposedly buried, was, had his sword buried here and may have been killed close to here. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, story and we might be on that one of these days with the redneck archaeologist. You can see some of the old buildings behind me. Uh, we're in the brick, the brick yard, uh, brick street, you can see. Uh, this is the old uh, refurbished type of thing. The old stone fort is out that way a ways. Uh, basically, they've kept this uh, kind of old fashioned, really cool. Uh, and in 1779, the Spanish trader came here after everybody left because this was considered a wilderness and went back to San Antonio. So, about 50 years after it was settled originally, by Spaniards, they came back into this area uh, and lived here at the Localla de Norte, or the North Street. Uh, they built the stone house for a trading business, which is Old Stone Fort, and it's uh, still uh, still there, evidently. Now, what was interesting about uh, this area is there's been nine, actually nine, flags that this area has flown over, not the six flags of Texas but nine separate flags, including the Fredonia Rebellion, which my ancestors were caught up with, uh, Chief Duvali, uh, Chief Richard Fields of the Cher Texas Cherokees, and then Colonel Leonard Williams, uh, related to all those. They were all caught up in that Fredonia movement, and that's another story later on. But however, I want to mention this because I will tell you something that's really interesting was the story of the Marx Brothers. In 1912, the Marx Brothers came to Nacogdoches as a singing troupe. They were singers and musicians. They were not comedians when they first came here or anywhere. And all they did is they performed singing acts to really very poor reviews and not much money. They were uh, struggling. Uh, so they came here, which is at the old opera house and is now the SFA Co. Art Center. Uh, but the audience was interrupted by a man who came inside yelling, Run away mule! Run away mule! There's a mule loose! So everybody, almost everybody in the audience left the building to watch the runaway mule because Groucho, Harpo, Zeppo, and Chico sucked at singing! So they filed back in after the mule provided all their entertainment. They came back in. And whenever they filed in, uh, Julius, who is later known as Groucho, said, uh, Nacogdoches is full of roaches. And the jackass is the flower of Texas. And instead of being pissed off, the audience liked it. And they started laughing and cheering and carrying on. So right after that, Julius and his brothers decided to try their hand at comedy instead of singing. And the rest is history. So Nacogdoches, thank you for the Marx Brothers comedy troupe brothers act. Because they sucked at singing. Great musicians. Lousy singers. Well,
there is a historical plaque commemorating this and down somewhere down here downtown. Where that is, I have no idea. I'm not even going to look for it because I don't have time. i got to get going. Ah. Anyhow, the Fredonia movement. The Fredonia, where this became actually a Fredonia. Okay. And if you remember, during the making of Duck Soup, the imaginary country was called Fredonia. Now, where did Groucho get that name? Or did the Marx Brothers get that name? Had to be here because that's where they started. Groucho once stated, I was once pinched in Nacogdoches for playing Ukraine on the front porch of a hotel. It happened to be on Sunday. You're not allowed to pay, play Ukraine in Nacogdoches on Sunday. As a matter of fact, the way I play it shouldn't be allowed on Saturday either. Groucho seemed to have a preoccupation with the word Nacogdoches. Every time somebody appeared on his show, he asked him, are you from Nacogdoches? And he threw it into a lot of the comedy bits too. John Wayne also seemed to have some kind of a strange preoccupation with Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches because it's, he used it in Big Jake and other films. Poplar Town. Now this is Jackson Burns on Redneck Archaeologist signing off. We'll see you on my travels on another time. Later. This is Nacogdoches, oldest town in Texas.